guys. What's up, Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. I mean, the reason I said, oh, shit, at the beginning was because um, somebody may have been, like, dishonest or something like that or just something, but it looks like a lot of regret behind that. So now somebody's trying to communicate, but they're worried as fuck. All right, Taurus, immediate future is coming up. Coming up for Taurus. All right, you got the four of wands. That's a good sign. That's actually a good luck card. It's associated with 1111. Damn, man, the justice could be dealing with the Libra. This right here, I mean, we got to see how, how it's going to play out. But this right here is something really long term. Uh, it could be a legal situation. This could be something like a contract, marriage. One more for Taurus, please. Let's see the outcome. It's, oh, no, no, no. One more. <laughs> it's not trying, they're not trying to give me the outcome. One more for Taurus, please. No. I'll get the outcome eventually. Thank you. Got it. Thank man. Ah! Seriously. All right, Pisces energy. So, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's. I mean, it's. It, we're starting off really good. Then we got the hangman. So, I mean, it does look like there could be uh, maybe a change of perspective, or somebody's kind of waiting on something, left waiting. I uh, want we'll to see how it plays out. Show me this. Um, four of wands for Taurus, please. The Eight of Swords. That's what I was talking about. Somebody is really nervous here. So this could be a marriage. It could be something that was long term. Oh, there's you. Why are you so nervous? For some, you could have been dealing with a married man. Talk about that Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, the one that holds holds it down. Especially when it comes to, like, um, a house or, like, you know, uh, just taking care of shit. You got the Eight of Pentacles. Something around work or something that you're working on that you're trying to build. Uh, may have you a little nervous. You do have somebody spying back there. It's like they're they're kind of peeping around the corner. They could be watching you at work or something that you do. Um, but you're, yeah, the Six of Cups. So, I mean, this could be anything from a past person to a sibling. But it does look like you have somebody trying to come back in your wonderful graces. Show me this Justice card for Taurus. You're really building a strong foundation there. And it looks like there's somebody trying to approach you, but this Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. Somebody could have ghosted. There could have been financial issues or somebody just breadcrumbed. Because actually for some, when I was saying marriage or something like that, the Knight of Cups could be um, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be um, an age difference between you or someone. Because there's someone here who does have a lot of feelings for you. And they may actually, there could be some type of proposal or something like that. Like trying to take things to the next level. But a damn sure could be a proposal. Um, but they're just as nervous as you are. I don't think, like, I think you're more in a, a better spot just because, like, we have you continuing to work. So some type of legal situation could have left someone broke. Um, but this also, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> Uh, there also could be somebody really worried because they ghosted a situation. This also can have to do with theft or something like that. So, you know, no judgment for me, but something here could have like led to a legal situation. But love is trying to blossom here. But it does look like there's this one person who's stressing now, as are you, except over here, it looks like we have like you more, um, 
like working towards something. And then over here, we have around the Ace of Cups, which is love. And this person who does have a lot of feelings for you that's trying to come back around. But somebody could be, they're, they're stressing here. And that could be because, like I said, because somebody ghosted. This could be because somebody stole something. Um, but because, uh, oh, all right, got it. Um, yeah, somebody's trying to communicate. I'm not even going to go into the stealing thing. Somebody's still hopeful that you're going to take them back after possibly like they just break from this. You're worried, but still working. They're worried, but really like attached to you. So don't feel like this person, um, or whoever this is has let you go because we have the eight of wands, the chariot, cancer, energy, the page of cups. We have somebody trying to make amends here for some type of ruckus that got, they got calls. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces again, but it doesn't have to be. This is somebody that that does have a lot of feelings for you. And it could be somebody that's like brand new. If it's brand new, then there may be some things like that happened in someone's past that are now affecting things. And I'm by past I mean um like all the way back to early childhood. But for a lot with the five of cups here now, I mean, it, it looks like, you know, somebody's ghosted the situation or, you know, something didn't work out quite right there. Because we have that seven of swords, the five of pentacles, um, and now they're regretting that, still hoping that you're going to take them back. Show, show me the thing, man. <laughs> ah, you got the queen of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. Um, you're not going to take any bullshit from this person. I'll tell you that one. Not with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is extremely protective of her heart. Tell me more about the outcome. They're going to have some barriers to break down, basically. Just tell me about that Queen of Swords for the outcome, please, her Taurus. The Queen of Swords is very strong. She's very independent. Um... You know, no bullshit. You can take care of yourself, like I said at the beginning. All right. Um, show me the outcome for Taurus, please. Thank you. The Knight of Pentacles. You're going to take your time. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest move of night of the deck. It is Earth energy. It's taken in day by day. This King of Cups. Um, let's, I want to see if there's movement, though. So this person, regardless of... Um, this could be somebody you were supposed to move in with or like something was supposed to happen here as far as like taking something to the next level or moving into a new house. And it looks like you really, you really were building something over here. Now, I don't know what the fuck happened either. Somebody just ghosted or like I said, breadcrumb could have stole something here, but now they're really nervous to approach you. Definitely wanting to start something new and hopeful. This person in particular will have a hard time, or maybe it's vice versa, will have a hard time like letting go of the situation. So um, somebody's trying to clear things over here. What's that two of swords? You're just going to take it day by day. The two of swords, though, you know, I'm not sure that you're just going to open up and let them in because I think some type of... It's possible, like, you know, you weren't always giving back what you put into it in the first place. So there could be trust issues there. What's that, Two of Swords? Um, the Ace of Swords. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the Two of Swords is kind of like a situation that comes to a point, like, not really hearing anything, not really letting anything in. And then we have that Ace of Swords. So it does feel like something's going to become clear. For some, some may confess something. Give me one more on the Ace of Swords, then I'll let it go. It does look like somebody's kind of having like that change of perspective here. I don't think you're just going to willy-nilly like open up and let this person in. Your finances are looking amazing. Whatever you're manifesting around work, that type of thing, or whatever you're trying to build. Because over here, you've already kind of been doing that. Um, that is going to pay off in a major way. You're pretty much focusing about your business, and it's possible that this person is, like, extremely intimidated. For some, you are, like, the breadwinner, or, like, the one who held it down, like I said, with the seven. Seven of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles, ten of Pentacles, your money is looking freaking fabulous. So whatever you are working on, keep going with it. Remember, whenever you're manifesting, to keep it to yourself. Um, somebody's got some work to put in. 
And it looks like right now you're very self-focused and your money is coming all the way up. So even if there was like theft or like money issues around that, um, that's not happening anymore. But as far as like a love situation, I mean like your your money's increasing, but a love situation, it's gonna it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some patience, it's gonna take some effort. All right, so yeah, you're the fool, your money is coming all the way up. Now you just went to the Empress. Which is your energy. You could be dealing with the Libra, but high priestess, you're extremely intuitive. And as far as somebody or this person being able to read you, they may have a hard time right now. And I think that's that's on your own free will. All right, Taurus, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time.